Hello everyone, welcome to my root building tutorials for Dovetail Games Train Simulator. Uh, these tutorials are done in Train Simulator 2021, just for future reference, you know, in years and years. Assuming this game is still around then, which with the large number of third-party content that keeps coming out, I certainly expect so. Alright, so this is going to be, this video here is going to be part one of a multi-part series. Each part is going to tackle a different aspect of the root building uh, system, I guess. I don't know. System pro process. How about that? Process. A much better word. First, you want to, so obviously, probably the first thing you're going to do is track. Track is... Super, super simple. Um, there, are, there's a lot of tutorials for root building out there, but each one is different. Uh, I had to watch many, many different tutorials before I got a full grasp of what was actually going on, because it's very intimidating at first. That's for sure. It's it's very, very intimidating. All sorts of things to do. So. I thought I'd make my own, how I learned and how I think the easiest way, and hopefully you guys will all be able to learn from this as well. So, first things first is going to be track. When you first load the editor, you're going to get a view similar to something like this. This is what you're going to get with and you will have absolutely nothing it'll be completely completely empty please ignore that yard with all the locomotives um, they have nothing to do with this tutorial so we are going to move out of the way so they're not in our way first things you want to do with track you're going to come up to the top left corner you'll see a house some track a paintbrush and a locomotive this first is your objects such as buildings houses uh, junk people and uh, you know, uh, bridges walls stuff stuff that has nothing to do with the trains in particular your next menu is your track yeah you your track uh, you know, a whole bunch of different things we'll get to that in a moment then you've got your terrain tools um, those you know you raise and lower the terrain you can give it different colors and make it all pretty and all that uh, let's, okay so and then your next one's going to be your scenarios that is not the point of this tutorial, so I'm not going to get into that um, at this time. Maybe towards the end of the series, we can do some scenario building. So what we're doing here is track. Track is probably going to be the very first thing that you are going to want to place. Whether you are just building something out of your imagination, or um, building something based on a real life route track is probably going to be the first thing you want to do so for this route tutorial i am using the donner pass route um just so you guys know each route the basic fundamentals are going to be exactly the same the only thing that is going to differ is signals that's the only thing that's going to change and I will explain why when we get to signals, but for now, everything I do here is going to be exactly the same for every single route that you may use to, as a starter for your different assets. Stop the button, I wanted to hit. All right, so we're gonna go through the menus here um, to start. First things first is you're going to get this middle menu let me unpin those and get those out of the way you're going to get to this menu here 
you have your two different selections for track. This one and this one. The first one, or the second one is going to be every single type of track you have available to use. The first one groups these into the selected track rule. A track rule would be, um, the best I can explain it is how the track is laid out. Each route is going to have its own special things involved with it, such as how the switches look, the different uh, default spacing for multiple tracks, uh, stuff like that. So, um, I don't think it really matters which one you use. I've never had an issue using one or the other. Um, as you can see, there is a track no ballast not included in the Donner Pass track rule. Um, this is a track that I believe would be available to multiple routes. It's not exclusive to Donner Pass, so therefore it wasn't built with the Donner Pass route in mind. It is just an asset that is available to use with Donner Pass. So to start us off, we're just going to use this main track. Um, and by default, so to place track, let me get that out of the way. To place track, you are going to, this yellow arrow will come. You'll see this yellow arrow. You're going to click, left click, and then your mouse is, you move your mouse to point where you want that track to go. Left, right, straight, which shows up as a, it will be highlighted yellow when it is perfectly straight. Any deviation off of that, it turns white. So let's create a piece of straight track. So you can see this yellow box. The yellow box shows you where the track is going to go. Yellow box, white box, depending on whether it's curved or straight. Once you're done, once you've placed a section of track, right click to release. Now you can place other tracks. Let's make them go to the right here. And let's make them go up to the left here. There you go. Uh, so now you got three tracks. If you want, to, so then when you want to continue a track, you are going to just go to the end, and your yellow bar, your yellow arrow, will snap to the end of the track, like that. Once it's snapped, click, and continue. Now, let's say you're building out, well, to delete a piece of track. Just click on it, hit the delete key on your keyboard. Simple as that. Now, let's say you want to, you're laying large sections of track, and you don't want to have to keep using, you know, you, you know, you'd place track, and you'd move down with your arrow keys, you'd move with your arrow keys, place track, move with arrow keys, place track. You don't want to keep doing that. You can tick this box down here in this corner with the orange arrow. Tick that, and then when you place a long section of track, you it will automatically move you to the end of the track. You go in a curve, it'll move you to the end of the curve. You go the other way, move you to the end of the curve. Uh, simple as that. Again, that, so now that's the simple basics of stuff. 